Hello, welcome back to our channel. Welcome to GRTC Videos, your daily supply of solutions to engineering problems. If you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified every time we upload new videos. In this video, we will discuss design of singly reinforced rectangular beam, and this is the second part of the part uh, three part series. The first part was uh, uh, the same, uh, design pa rin, na? So the same pa rin yung given, only in this part, I increase the loads. So kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung part 1 nito, I suggest na panoorin nyo mo na yung part 1 para makuha nyo ano yung what we are trying to show to you here in this uh, lesson. Okay? So in the first part, para lang natin ma-reflect, Yung moment niya, yung uh, the, the service loads, maliit yun. No? And then everything is uh, singly reinforced. Okay? Now, we will repeat the same process. Titinan natin what will happen if the moment, the service loads are increased. So the dead load here becomes 130 kN meter and the live load is 170 kN per meter. Okay? So we will, again, we will solve this both 2001 and 2010. So design ito siya, design of rectangular beam given yung dimension B and the effective depth. Okay? Given naman yung ating mga FC prime, FY, ayan. Okay, so unahin natin si 2001. And as I mentioned before, in 2001 for the design of beams, the reduction factor is constant. It is equal to 0.9. Okay, our beta 1 is 0.85 because your FC prime is less than 30 MPa. And then we will solve our row balance. So, so, so solving muna natin yung mga prerequisites. Na? Yung row balance natin, okay, gaya ng ginawa natin in part 1. And then your row max is 0.75 row balance and your row mean. Na? So your row mean is the larger value of these two formulas. Na? So, okay, ayan. So we will use the 0.00337. That is your minimum requirement. Okay? So continue on with 2001. The required strength MU is now 1.4 MD plus 1.7 ML. And that is 470. So malaki na ito kumpara kanina yung sa part 1 natin. Okay, so the same procedure pa rin. Let's assume this is singly reinforced. Then we can use this equation Rn equals V BD squared. Assuming singly reinforced, of course, assuming the steel will yield. That will always follow if you assume it is singly reinforced. Okay? So 470 yung ating MU, and then ang ating BD, uh, BD given, ang fee natin is 0.9, so that's 6.978. Then after that, makukuha na natin yung raw. Our raw is uh, 0.02057. Again, it is more than row mean, of course, so no problem. And it is still less than row max. Less than row max pa rin siya. 0 0.02057. Yung row max natin is 0 0.02012. Although, almost na. But since it is less than the maximum allowed by the code, pwede pa rin itong design as singly reinforced. Okay. So, singly pa rin tayo. So, therefore, your row is correct already. Then, masosolve na natin yung AS. Row BD, and that's uh, 3,086 square mm. Singly pa rin siya. Okay. Now, tingnan natin anong mangyayari with 2010 NSCP. Alright. Sige. So, first, yung ating uh, mga prerequisites, the same yung ating beta 1. 25 because FC prime is less than 28 MPa. Yung row balance natin, basically, it will come up the same value. Pareho pa rin. And then, yung row mean natin, the same formulas pa rin ang row mean natin. Ha? The same formula. Although in 2015, ang nakalagay dito, 0.25 square root of FC prime over FY. Pareho pa rin yun. One fourth is 0.25. Okay. The required strength, ganun pa rin. 1.2 uh, live, dead, sorry, plus 1.6 live. So that's 428. Okay? So ganun, the same procedure. Let's assume this is singly reinforced. So your fee is 0.9. And assuming this is tension controlled. No? 
Bilang yield, tension control siya. Yield nga siya, pero dapat tension control. Alright, your RM is uh, yun. Ito yung formula gagamitin natin. Tension control, singly reinforced. Okay? So, 428 yung ating uh, moment. Sana yun? Yan. And then, PBD squared. So, 6.43. Then, we can now solve for uh, rho. 0.0183. Okay? And that is less than, of course, more than rho mean, but less than rho max pa rin. So, okay. so sorry, not rho max. Rho balance. No, no. Kanina yung rho max, yung comparison natin. Okay, okay siya. More than raw mean and the steel will yield. So what is left for us to prove here, ipoprove natin kung talaga ba itong sing, uh, tension control. So solve natin yung FS. Titinan natin kung, kasi kung maging tension control siya, para maging tension control, dapat yung steel stress, stress ng tension steel, must be more than 1,000 MPa. Actually, the strain is 0 0.005. Must be... Uh, uh, more than, no? uh, less than, sorry, 0 0.005. Okay? So, yun. Uh, so, bali, equivalent yan, stress is, must be more than, equal to more than 1,000 MP. Okay, so, again, uh, kulin natin yung A. Ha? So, kulin natin yung AS muna. No? So, ito yung AS natin, pro BD lang. And then, kulin natin yung ating, uh, tawag dyan, yung A. Okay, kaya ginawa ko kanina in part 1. So, sana napanood nyo yung part 1. So, CC, actually may formula yan. Kanina pinakita ko yun. Nakalimutan ko dito pinakita. Kasi hindi pagkita. So, yung tawag dyan, yung uh, uh, figure dito. No? Compressive force in concrete equals tension is steel. So, ito yung formula ng A. And your C. Kuha natin yung C. Okay? After that, masasolve na natin yung FS. Okay, so the same process kanina ito. Okay, ito yung ating FS, 975.9. Now, tingnan nyo. Hindi siya umabot ng 1,000 MPa. Ibig sabihin yung reduction factor, hindi ito tension control. This must be in transition zone. Okay, so yung fee natin dito is less than 0.9. Na? Okay. Transition zone ito. Magiging variable. Ibig sabihin, we cannot use 0.9 for our fee. So, imagine that. If we cannot use 0.9 for our fee, then, dito pa lang, mali na to. Pati ito, mali na rin. Huh? So, this cannot be the answer. Although, napakalapit naman yan sa 1,000. Siguro, pwede na nating gabitin yan. Pero, theoretically, it cannot be. Siguro, kung ako lang, masasabi ko, say, pwede na yan. Uh, kuwala lang, uh, intuition na lang, ano yung discarte mo dyan. Napakalapit na lang naman yan. Anyway, ha? pero theoretically, that cannot be. Okay? Kasi ito yung sinabi dito sa code. Ito yung nakasaad sa code. That is transition zone. The tensile strain less than 0 0.005 but more than FY. If you will express this in terms of the stress, the stress in tension steel is less than 1,000 but more than FY. That will be transition. Ito yung ating reduction factor. But this is in terms of strain. If you will write that in terms of stress, it can be written in this manner. Okay? Now, imagine this. If we will continue on with this and P as variable, so dito pa lang sa part na to, meron ka ng unknown. Ano na yung FS mo? Can you imagine that? And then go on bringing that as your unknown up to this part. That's very, very tedious. Huh? That's very, very tedious. That's not, hindi siya magandang i-continue. Actually, pwede naman yung, ano, pwede naman yung, uh, may limit yung code. Uh, some would say, Sir, what happened to Romax in 2010? Bakit sa 2001 merong Romax? Saan yung Romax in 2010? Okay, in 2010 and 2015, Walang, hindi niya sinabing Romax talaga. In fact, I will show you here the code requirement in 2015. Sinabi dito, for non-pre-stressed beam with PU less than that, or we will simplify that statement, for non-pre-stressed beam that has a very, very small axial load, the strain in tension steel must be at least equal to 0 0.004. 
If we will uh, make that a stress, the strain dapat intensusil ay hindi bababa ng point, uh, 800. Equivalent yan is 800 MPA. Point zero zero four times 200,000. That's 800 MPA. Okay? So kung pwede tayong gumamit niyan ng 800, na? But a problem with that, with an unknown FS, magfa-follow din na unknown yung fee mo. So that's very complicated. So ito yun, hindi sinabi ito na maximum sa 2010 or 2015. Ha? So ang sa 2010, uh, 2001, halos ganito pa rin yung statement niya. Ha? Pero iba lang yung sinabi niya lang that raw is, shall not exceed 0.75 of the raw balance. Dito hindi. Okay? Now, I will not solve I will not show it here paano gawin to. I will show it uh, in part uh, 3 of the video. In part 3 of our video, papalakihan ko pa yung moment na magiging doble na siya. Kasi ito dapat magiging doble na to. Na? Pero hindi ko na lang gagawin dito. I would rather do it together with the 2001. We will increase the moment so that the beam will become doubly reinforced. And so with this, talaga magiging, ibibisay na natin to as doubly reinforced. So that will be sa part 3 natin. Okay? So, I hope you learned a lot from this uh, video. Huh? So, please, if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please don't forget to uh, subscribe sa channel namin. And uh, please hit the bell icon so that you will be notified every time we upload new videos. Okay? So, thank you for watching.